on this computer. Um, all right, we're live. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Boudry. I'm here with Mrs. Minch and Mr. Wood, and this is part two of episode one of Cub Community Broadcast. We're really excited to have our guest on today, Mr. Wood. Yeah. So just want to start out here, Mr. Wood, with a quick question. I'm really curious about, well, I actually know the answer, but I'm not sure how many other kids do. Where are you from? Where's home? Where's home base for you? San Diego. San Diego Superchargers. Yes, San Diego. When yeah, did you move up to Oregon? Uh, I moved up to Oregon in 1990. Yes, so I've been here. I feel like, you know, I've lived here longer than I've lived in California. So I am an Oregonian now. But yeah, San Diego roots, surfing, went to Poway High School. I was a Poway High School Titan. Titans. Do so, you still have family out in San Diego? My brother lives in San Diego, and we go and visit him, and usually hang out in PB, Pacific Beach, um, every winter for our Christmas break. So it's a great way to go back and just be surf, surf warm water and hang out. Right on. So High school in San Diego. Uh, yes. Seems like a dream. Like, <laughs> what would people, what would people wear? Like, shorts, t-shirts, swimsuits, board shorts? Uh, yeah, no, it was interesting, you know, dress code there. There were lots of, um, mostly jeans. Well, it depends. You know, I went to a big high school, 2,000 kids. So there were um, clicky groups. You know, you had surfer wall. Because, you know, everything in San Diego is outside. You have these quads. So I, there was surfer wall, jock wall, goat roper wall, you know, um, nerd wall. Um, so it just depends on where you hung out. But, yeah, jeans. I remember a uh, uh, Sperry Topsider uh, with the little one lace shoe and Vans. That was, that was legit wear for surfers with jeans and, of course, a T-shirt and just that's it you know but yeah what wall did you stand on so we we obviously know you love to surf and surfing skate. i was all, totally the surfing wall and then occasionally you know you would veer out of your wall and then you know almost get beat up at the jock wall but yeah that was fun good times nice um well i have a, a random question what's your favorite movie and why Ooh, favorite movie um i love dead poet society oh captain my captain love it um Sometimes I have to get up on my chair, you know. Oh, oh, oh. oh sorry, we have a, the post oh, oh, oh. Iris, Iris, no, sorry, wait, the postman yeah. just came. Sorry, guys. So anyway, Dead Poets Society, keep going. And um, the North Shore, super cool 80s surf film, you know. Um, my son's in Hawaii right now, Kauai, and he's on quarantine for two weeks. And we had to watch North Shore, of course, before we went. And there's a line in there that says, he's so holly, he don't even know he holly. Uh, and so we just joke, you know. It's like he's over there right now waiting to get off quarantine. So, yeah, those are my two favorite movies. Awesome. Uh, what music were you into back in high school? Uh, I was total 80s, you know, the police. You know, I was definitely that new, new wave. But, you know, I went to a school that was a little bit inland from the beach. So we had a lot of good, um, you know, rockers, you know, like Neil Young. You know, we had a lot of. A lot of different dances you know we'd have sadie hawkins dance that'd be all western themed so <laughs> yeah no i was into like you know depeche mode you know all those i still have 80s on my sirius xm you know it's like so i'm just listening to 80s all the time duran duran all those guys so do you consider yourself a good singer and good dancer one or the other both um i used to like dancing you know back in the 80s you know everybody kind of danced the same now today uh dancing is really choreographed. I'm not a good TikToker. No, I, <laughs> I I would struggle. The struggle's real. You know, anything that has to be fully sunk or memorized, mm, no. Not I'm a free-flowing free Charlie Brown special. I'm gonna change it up on you a little bit. Um, ask a food question. What's your favorite go-to meal? Ooh, wow. I mean. In a pinch, you know, on a desert island, you know, I could eat pizza every day. So pizza's amazing. Um, yeah, but all, all, I love seafood and just, you know, anything seafood or fish and stuff like that. I've tried to digress from pizza because I'm getting fat. 
<laughs> no, you're not. Especially just, you know, quarantining at home, man. That's all I do is eat all day. So, yeah. But eating's good. Eating's good. Uh, what's your favorite place to get dessert in town and what do you order? Um, in town can mean anywhere on the, you know, Lincoln County coast. Yeah, I'm not a super dessert person because I eat candy all the time. So I'm a candy holic, you know. I love candy. So um, Snickers, the Skittles, Starburst, what is it? Uh, any kind of candy, you know, <laughs> when in doubt. I just, any kind of candy, but yeah. Definitely like Sour Patch Kids and sour candies, you know, for sure. And, you know, I'm always got candy in my pocket. Well, I've been golfing a lot because I can and my sons work at Salishan so yep. I always have a pocket full of candy and they're like dad you heard the kid of course I do <laughs> <laughs> I know who to hit up when the quarantine ends and when I'm needing a candy fix at school yeah and I, I really would try to cut myself off from sugar until we got on quarantine then I was like uh what are you doing you're going to the store you're not supposed to go to the store I need a bag of candy I'm sorry <laughs> so I'm bad I love it I got one more for you, Dale. Got one more. Okay. So, hey, if you could travel anywhere with anybody, where would you go and who would you take? Oh, uh, I would definitely take my wife. I, I, I got to marry my high school sweetheart, which is rare. So, oh my gosh. we still are totally in love. So, I would take her. She's a great balance to me. Like, she's super cautious and mellow and she's probably saved my life a million times traveling. So uh, I would definitely take my wife for sure. Um, and then where would I go? Well, I really want to go to New Zealand and Australia. So kind of both because they're real close, you know, you yeah. do one, you're going to do the other. Yeah. That's where I'd go. Yep. When you go on vacation, are you a someone who likes to like sit, relax, enjoy? Or are you like a go see this, do this, do this kind of person? I, um, my criteria for vacation is to not do anything touristy okay it's weird like if i went to europe i would my wife would want to go to the louvre and go to the places that are touristy and i'd be like no straight to the beach you're going to all the cool surf spots in france i don't care about the louvre i could see it online you know i don't like waiting in lines i don't like tourist stuff i'm too poor to like tourist stuff i like real authentic I like meeting the people, the real people out in the real nitty gritty kind of everyday part of life, you know. That's awesome. That's, that's what I like. Well, one more follow-up question to that. I had no idea that you and Kelly were sweethearts. Can you just tell me how you courted her or she courted you or how, well, how did it begin? She's two years younger than me. So I had graduated from high school and I was doing landscaping. I had a truck, typical surfer job in San Diego. <laughs> you know, um, I worked for a couple of realtors. They just call you up and everybody in San Diego has pools. So of course, you know, you do landscaping, you jump in their pool. Um, and I saw her when she just moved to my neighborhood and I was just seeing on the, the, uh, my truck on the, you know, tailgate, just tailgating. And she was walking this huge dog wearing this amazing orange dress. And I was like, yeah. ooh, who, who that? Uh, so, and then she just walked up real brazen. Hey, how's it going? I'm new to the neighborhood. And I'm like, that is awesome. Um, <laughs> so, and then we kind of were friends for like a year, like, you know, kind of close friends. And then uh, all of a sudden, just bam, I think it was Thanksgiving. Yeah, 19, maybe 85. Wow. So that was good where we just went, man, let's start dating. So that was cool. Good story. Beautiful. Yep. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dale, for your time today on the community broadcast. And uh, do you have Super. anything you want to say to the kids before we go? Yes. I miss everyone. I'm a people person. I, I love what I do. I miss you guys so much. Um, this is not, it's not my medium. I'm sad that we can't see each other and, um, even with just our immediate families, not being able to hug people and just go up and slap their, oh, no, not that. Uh, but you know, mess with them and just hang out. You know, I, I really miss that. I miss especially being, I, I didn't, I guess I knew that being a school teacher is awesome, especially middle school. And, and, but I just, sometimes you take things for granted. So I would just really, really 
um, miss that personal connection, really miss all the uh, students. I miss everybody and all the characters. All of them. All, all of them. Every all 550 one of them. Of them. <laughs> yeah, yep. miss everybody and just seeing their happy faces and learning from them. You get really isolated really quickly, you know, even, you know, you're just in your own little world, you know, so it feels weird, you know, or you're out doing something and people are all looking at you like, what are you doing, man? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm quarantining, man. I'm good. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah. So yeah, I miss that. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody soon. Me too. Well, yeah. I know the kids miss you. They love you, Dale. So we're lucky to have you on our staff. You're you're an amazingly kind and wonderful person. I really love our staff too. I miss just hanging out with our staff. We've been Zooming a lot. <laughs> I mean, and, um, almost so much. I'm like, oh man, there's lots of Zoom. <laughs> ton of information passing through Zoom. And there are just some times where I'm like, I'm just, you can't even connect in Zoom, you know? It's like, it's so weird. So yeah, I'm over Zoom. <laughs> so, well, but um, hey, awesome. this is our medium. This is what we have. So let's use it to the fullest to connect ourselves. So I love that. Yep. Do the so, best with what you can uh, where you are. So, yep. all right. Well, thank you, Dale. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, cool to see you guys. Next you time guys. we'll do a tour. We'll do a tour of the house, Ooh. the garage, where the surfboards are, the bikes. MTV Cribs. Yes, MTV <laughs> Cribs. Yes. All right. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.